Danger Bowl and we wondered who it was going to be. We were talking to Paul Radley about it. Was it going to be Nisar Patel back into the attack? It is. Has it turned enough? That's in line. And maybe just going on to clip stump. You might like to see the DRS on that. But the decision has gone Patel's way. He's got his second. The game changes again. A big pat on the back for him. He makes 84 from 93. And I think we're in for a thrilling climax. Nepal 144 for three. Huge wicket under circumstances. Just when he's about to say that he sends an air of reassurance to, this, to the dugout. He's going to join the people in the dugout now. He put in the hard yards, built the innings. And then one little blip, he finds himself in the pavilion. Excellent innings, mind you. Nepal lose their third, 144 for three. Nisar Patel, the man with the gold arm at the moment. Partnership broken. Yeah, that was the innings, 84 from 93 deliveries, three fours and three sixes. Looks usually comfortable throughout the knock. The reintroduction of Nisarg Patel, who's been outstanding for USA, one of the four left arm spinners in this side, has possibly just changed the game. It was slipping away from USA, but he's got two for 14, and it's going to bring a left hander to the crease. Kushal Mala now. Not only has he picked up wickets, and to the last column, the economy. Absolutely brilliant. He's strangled the opponents whenever he's come on to ball. Mr. Patel on the top of his mark, on top of his game too, Kusal Malla. Straight to the fielder, Kusal Malla. He's sure that he gets it from the middle of the bat, the first one. Yeah, Patel will probably tend to operate around the wicket to a left-handed Malla. Bit of turn on offer, and the turn he's found is kind of being the exception to the rule, mainly getting on for most of the other left arm spinners. Patel has managed to find a bit of turn and critically that bit of bounce. Kareem Agor warming up an extra cover exactly where the ball's gone there so we might see the two left arm spinners operate in tandem. That'd be a good side isn't it? I've already seen Rush Tosh Kenjika being successful. Left arm spinners, it's been their era. Watch out. Yeah. Known for his aggression, Mala will certainly look to clear the ropes, but he hasn't quite found his touch yet here this week. Big wicket is the shout coming in from the fans in America. They know how important that was. If Bertel continued along his merry way, definitely it was probably going to be game over for USA, but instead. I think we're going to have a thrilling finish, and it's only fitting after the long wait we've had. 33 overs gone, 145 for three. Let's take it. Today's map is Flo Gadra. Dead free product is used on that. Today we are going to start a promotion called Parpar the Name. Marble. Suraksha Karko. Satji Ban Karko. Kumari Parivar Suraksha Bachat Khata Le Khole Ko Chha. Sabai Ko Suraksha Ko Sancho. Kumari Bank. खाता 26 लाख सम्म को फायदा थप जानकारी को लागि नजिक को कुमारी बैंक को साखामा संपर्क गर्नु होला सुरु गरू परिवार को सुरक्षा को संस्कार you know, दंडारी करण के इसी सोमपाल कामी you got some batting to come for sure but they wouldn't want to leave it too late it's about this partnership Kusal Malla the youngest half century in ODIs and the man batting with him, Roy Podell, held that record before him, right? Yeah, they breathe them in the pole. They love their cricket there. Sarah Netravalka is going to continue, so no Kareem Agor just yet. Looking at these bowling figures, where do you think the guts of the bowling will come from for the rest of the American attack? 
It's important that Nostros Kinjike is held back a little bit more. We'll see. Important overs in the end. And of course, Elmo Hutchinson has seven up his sleeve. As he rightly pointed out, Oh, very good delivery. The, as you rightly pointed out earlier, Andrew, that because of two new balls, reverse swing is out of the equation. Elmo Hutchinson, you remember those days, where he would swing the ball into the right-hander. So he's got to prepare that ball a little bit more. Yeah, but there's still some conventional swing and offer, and we saw it from that delivery. Netravalka bringing the ball away from the left-handed Mallet. Big extravagant drive, and with Bertel now out, the key thing is, required run rate is going to come into the game. It's above five and over for the first time in a while. And Powdle. That's an edge. And that's the fourth wicket. Brilliant from Netravalker. That's why he's kept himself on. He pumps the sky. And that's a huge wicket. The game turns again. Malas woes with the back continue. He hasn't found his form here yet. In the UAE. And he snuck up. An absolute beauty, shape away, just dangled the bat out at it. And Mala holds the glove out, but he can't stop the umpire from getting the finger up. And that's going to bring the fourth wicket to game now, right in the balance. It's a coin toss in my book, Nepal 145 for four. One we just have any flow gadra, let free product I use on that. They were a gunastery from Ningo Purple, the name Marble Suracha Corpo. Sajiban. Getting them that breakthrough. Kushal Malla still, still trying to believe that there is a middle of the bat that he's carried to this this particular tour of his. Yeah, Binal Bandari is going to be in at number six, the keeper batsman. Another man who's just struggled a little bit for batting form in recent times. In particular T20 format. But he's got a big job to do here. Need about five and over. Netravalker is going to come around the wicket to the right-hander. <laughs> important thing for USA fans is that he's starting to get the ball to talk as well. Starting to get significant movement. We'll go back to that stat that Paul Radley was talking about. They've only chased over 230 once or twice in their history. And both times that was with Paris Kadka at the wicket making big contributions. Right now it very much feels like game on, doesn't it? Absolutely. Bhandari the new man in and USA not making, not giving him anything easy. He's just faced one ball. There's already a lot of chatter. Bhandari will also be in a little conundrum whether to play his natural game or try to find form with a couple of singles first up. I think the onus lies on Podell. It's on Podell's shoulders now. Your thoughts? Well, look, Bertel's dismissal has certainly brought this game back into the balance. It's brought the strike rate of Rohit Powdell very much into question because 14 off 44 needing over 5 and over. The way Netravalker is going, that will soon creep up towards a run of ball. Bandari certainly not known for big hitting. Just feels to me, like as it so often does, that a lot's going to rest on the shoulders of Karen KC. The way he hits the ball, he won't mind if it's 7 or 8 and over they need, but they don't want to put too much on his shoulders with just 86 more to win. You've got to give him that situation to be the Karen KC that we all know him to be. 86 at the moment is way too much a gamble for him to be walking in. Reduce that... Uh, Use that number, get it under control. Here is Nathra Valkar. Late movement away from the right hander. It's beaten him on the outside edge and it's swung significantly after. It's gone past that outside edge through to Patel. It's a wicket maiden. Brilliant from. Look at this. Look at the late movement. Can't get a bat on that, whatever the format. Outstanding from the skipper. He's got one for 23. Nepal need to find some runs. One four five for four. 
विदेश में फ्लो काट रेट फ्री प्रडक्ट नहीं यूज होता गुणस्तरीय प्लम्बिंग को भरपर्द नाम सुरक्षा घर को सात जीवन घर को Celebrating Kumari Bank Limited. You need to learn the power of your mind. Well, one of my shoes here. So, by the way, I'm not done. Twenty years of adding values. Well done, Karima. Don't allow him to even think of a single, let alone execute it. Yanendra Mala had a fruitful 17 but couldn't continue. Then two quick wickets. Slug three in the slot. That's going to go all the way for six. It's really good batting. He has struggled pedal throughout this innings, but he's acknowledged that, and Patel's just tossed that one up into the hitting arc. There's a man out at long on. He's taken him on. He's gone high and handsome over the head of Sushant Madani. You knew from the moment that left the bat that it was six all the way. Very rightly put. A cracking hit, and Patel unfazed by the devastation at the other end at that time. He was there to be hit, he puts it away. Didn't even mind, there was a fielder in the deep. Remember, braving the fielder. And now, quietly picked up a single. This is excellent cricket. The biggest denomination followed by a single. Keep the scoreboard ticking. And bringing the poor fans into the game. Fans just filtered in now in some reasonable numbers. Probably 60 or 70 of them. Maybe even a few more, actually. More like 100, probably. And they are... Not just predominantly favouring Nepal, I think they're all favouring Nepal, yet to see any American fans in the ground. So if they can bring them into the game. Just save things further, nicely played, that's intentionally played off the face of the bat, that's not off an outside edge. We'll get back for a couple, and just that little blitz here, 6-1-2, it's bringing the required run rate back down towards 5 and over. तीन संकीना रही था ना क्या रही था पाप जी हेल तय होगी एक लेक ले हेल नहीं वो क्या है इसलिए तो क्या था करेक्टली सेड एंड तू दैट दैट सिग्निफिकेंट सिक्स एट द एरली पार्ट ऑफ द ओवर हैज गोट थिंग्स अंडर कंट्रोल इट्स अलाउइंग देम इट्स गिविंग देम द लाइसेंस टू गो फॉर द सिंगल्स टूज नो द बॉल अलाउ 77 required from 15.2. Yes, Arun Patel is thinking it's a matter of one more. We can have got to slip in place as well. Here's the side. A little bit cheeky, a little bit pre premeditated, and the outfield will do a little bit of its part as well. He did put in the dive, but didn't reach the ball. A third run was very difficult. Yes, yeah, Sanjay Krishnamurthy doing the chasing there. The tweets continue to come in. This one from. Subas sweep shot to replay nicely controlled by Bandari and that one getting behind square on the leg side no fielder behind square it's brought about a change in the field because Metrovalka will come in to a backward square leg and one of the fielders from the offside will come over come back to that tweet now just after this delivery and they will close out a strong over 12 runs coming from it. Patel have been so economical up to that point. The pendulum swings back in favour of Nepal. Yeah, this one coming from Subhas Sumegan. He's giving us the stats. Kushal Mala, 17 years of age, and Rohit Powdle, 19 years of age. Have a combined lesser age than that of Elmore Hutchinson, the great man who's at 39. <laughs> Com उठाओ देनो ये तीसरे उठाओ इन्नो तुम बंद से लाए कहाँ वो डूब रहा है क्या क्या कर दिया चौवा नहीं तब मेरो इस्ट्री मेरा बाय 
Spain. So that shows just how young this Nepali side is. 74 more to win of 15. And we just have only four guys. Let free product can use on that. Youth and experience. You've got the experience of Mala. Barry of KC of Kami mixed in with the youth. The Crown Saba course as well. We're going to need this experience to get over the line. We deserved a grandstand game after a 579 day delay to this competition. Looks very much to me like we're going to have it. Hutchinson starts well, but he's punched into the offside for a single. Oh, which way is this game going? They're going to tell at the moment. They're doing a bit of repairing work here in Nepal. They, know they need a period of quiet, at least two, three overs, where they don't lose wickets. Keep the scoreboard ticking. Anyway, I've got a question for you. How do you think the wickets played out so far? I think like all the wickets we saw here last week, they've been pretty good batting wickets. Got a little bit in it for the spinners, but not a huge amount to turn. Very little mixed bounce or uneven bounce. Okay. What we have is probably a, a deck where 250 is about par. USA maybe just a little bit underneath that. But trying to bowl and feel their heart out to protect that. Any of the low scores you might have seen last week with Papua New Guinea in action it was as much as anything because of some really poor batting and some outstanding bowling, particularly from Sandy Plamachani. 230 might be better par, you say, but they're making a good game out of this. They understand the value of wickets over here. Bandari, 6 of 9 at the moment. More bounce, more bounce. He wants that single too, hadn't recovered from the bounce, remember. This is good cricket. Trusting his partner, putting his head down and running 22 yards. Extra lift, wasn't there, from just back of the length. Floods into the... Right into the V of the bat, bottom hand just dropping off, but well played by Bandari. That's good experience, just drops it down in front of him, gets it for a single. Netravalkar across from mid off, just showing a few tips with his left arm seamer. Backward point, mid wicket. We've got a man at, there's a sweep, but there's an extra cover, there's a mid off in place and long on. And of course, shot final leg. We'll collect this and they'll quietly pick up a single meanwhile. 36 gone, 161 for 4. We just have only four guys, bro. Let free product can use on that. Stay away. Oh, that's my, that's my name, man. See? I'm going to go to my bar and I'm going to go to मेरे साथ ही फोकड़ा रही है यार गुनस्तरे प्लम्बिंग को पर पर देना मार दो सुरक्षा कर को साथ जी बंद कर दो डी सोम को रिचार्ज में इंटरनेट सिद्ध है ना यो योजना डी सोम फाइबर नेट सेवा पोगे को स्थान में उपलब्ध है डी सोम फाइबर नेट Sarek Patel will continue, just wondering whether or not he is going to close out his spell. He's got two left, two for 27 for him, probably the pick of the attack, him and Netravalker. So worked into the leg side. Singles continuing to be enough for Nepal at the moment. Because it's not seven or eight and over needed, we can just afford to knock it around. Don't need to look for the boundary option every delivery. Yes, sir, Patel has been excellent with his line and length behind that one six that uh, Patel hit. Hence, they're trying to play him off as well. पढ़ देना उल्लेख करो बुद्धि से क्या? 
तो मैं पब्जी खेल तिमी न खेला अब लूडो मत खेल हम अब ओके मबजी खेल अब It's not a bad option at all. It's not at all. Remember, a turn on offer again there. For Patel really gripping in the pitch and completely squaring Bandari up. All he could do was get a, a leading edge on it. It's with a reverse sweep, half an appeal, and gets it away well though. And again, that lack of a fielder behind square and the offside for the left arm spinner is being exploited by Nepal. But he'll using a good angle there. No, he wanted to hit it towards the offside, of course. The way the left arm spinners have also used the crease has been great to watch. This time, wider point of release, trying to trouble the batsman who had a pre-demeditated shot. Straight to the fielder. What's this one going to be? Will he push it flat or slightly? Or slightly? And he wants that single. The problem is only one of them wanted it. Just getting a sense that Patel is trying to tease the batsman out of the crease. Using a lot of flight and guile, he is getting the ball to turn, as you can see, straight behind the bowler's arm here. A little bit of turn and. Surprisingly good bounce as well. That one skidding on into the pad, just going on with the arm, probably out of the front of the hand. The we'll finish of the dot ball though. One six four 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 after thirty seven Nepal, sixty seven required in thirteen overs. Pulled out of the appeal. Bye bye bye. Someone prune on the ILA. Or someone prune sir. मार्बल को पाइप जलान कर घर एकदम ठीक है नमस्कार छोड़कर विदेश नया घर बना पाइप कि सामान रामरो सा ढुक्को उन्होंस ठाचे ठाचे तीसरे तो यही लेना है आपको हो मार्वल का सीपी की सी प्रोडक्ट हरू अमेरिकन लाइसेंस अंतर्गत उत्पादित और बंदा 25 प्रतिशत बड़ी प्रेशर बहन करना सकने छह मता का साथ 50 बर्स बंदा बड़ी विश्व भरी रुचि ये को एनएसएफ अमेरिक गेम हेरे बस को गेम लाइव कर भोग बोला द्वारा प्रमाणित फ्लोगार्ड ब्रांड साथ ही मार्बल का यूपीवीसी प्रोडक्ट हरू लेट फ्री यूवी रेसिस्टेंट रा हाई इंपैक्ट स्ट्रेंथ भाई को विदेश में अपनी फ्लोगार्ड रा लेट फ्री प्रोडक्ट में यूज़ होना ते वेरे गुनस्तरे प्रमुख को पर्पर द नाम मार्बल अभी पाइप फिटिंग को लगी मार्बल के सॉल्वेंट सीमेंट रख देनु Uninterrupted connection. Uninterrupted learning. Non-stop communication. Non-stop uploading. Non-stop downloading. Faster streaming. Faster gaming. Do whatever you think because this is Dish Homes Fibernet. मेरे सीरियल तो सब क्यों था? विशाल, ओके, मौसी वाले कास्ट का सेट। फेवरेट, 
डिश होम का ग्राहक हो रहे तपाईं जहाँ भाई बने डिश होम गो मार्फत मोबाइल में टीवी हर नवास डिश होम खुशी को कनेक्शन तुम्हारी परिवार सुरक्षा बचत खाता ले खोले कुछ है सब एको सुरक्षा को सांचो कुमारी बैंक मा खाता 26 लाख सम्म को फाइदा थब जान कर इको लागी नजिक एको कुमारी बैंक को साखा मा संपर्क गरनु होला सुरु गरु परिवार को सुरक्षा को समस्कार We'll let that one go. Yeah, tantalizingly poised, really, isn't it? Absolutely, Andrew. I still feel that USA are going to need wickets. I need wickets, probably. Pretty quickly. The only double edged sword about if they do find wickets, it's likely that it'll be Karen Casey to the crease, and he's the one who could end things in a hurry. But I can't see them being able to get over the line without taking these wickets. They still need six. Dot balls aren't going to be enough. I think they'll take on the double edged sword. They wouldn't mind. To see a W in this over would be vital for USA. It is even for Karan Casey to unfurl his shots. He needs a situation. He needs that launch pad. I know he's done it before in that qualifiers against Canada. What a finish. But again, here's Hutchinson. Three consecutive dots. Just starting to build the pressure up. Quite often we'll see dots not actually obviously take the wicket, but they will build. They will lead to the point whereby a shot's played in anger, a risk is taken. And look at those numbers, 24 of 53. The young man, he's a very talented cricketer, brilliant last week. His career best against Papua New Guinea, but it's a different role here, much more highly pressurised role in this chase. And he's just helped it along its way. That's a ball that will not be welcome in the US dugout. Six runs. And the pressure was being built, as you said. Suddenly it's been vented. Not sure about the option from Hutchinson. Looking for the bouncer, and it was just slightly the wrong line. Fine leg up in the circle. Fine leg's back. And that's an okay delivery, but all Powdle has done is helped it round the corner. Second six of the innings for him. Just adding a footnote to a point that you mentioned, excellent point, that you build pressure so that a wicket follows, just to make the batsman do something different. We'll get back to it, we'll keep the chat alive. Remarkably, his second six of his innings, he hasn't hit a boundary yet, not a boundary four anyway, he has hit two boundary sixes. Mm -hmm. But Powell continuing to grow, such a talent this youngster, remember he's only up here at number four, at 19 years of age because of the absence of Dependra Singh Iri, but is he going to help guide Nepal home here? Yeah, two sixes, no boundaries so far. That's been that's because every time he's gone for the aerial shot, he's done that with great conviction. Harris Hutchinson, what kind of was trying to steal a single, was going to be tap and run, but not on this occasion. Straight to the fielder. Every time there's been a six, there's also been a single after that. We've seen that too. 38 gone. 171 for 4 Nepal. We just have a flow card. Let's free product. We use it. We have a good story from the name of the name. Marble! Surat Chakar. Sajib and Dark.
that's the state of play. Nisark Patel about to bowl his final over. He's got two for 30. Latravalka will have to turn back probably to one of his other left arm facers and see whether or not they can find the breakthrough. They can find the oracle. It's exactly five and over. The equation simple. 60 to win for Nepal. They got 12 overs to do it in. A little bit uppish. Wants that single two with his braving the arm. Good work by Monank. The throw had to be tamed. No worries, said Monank. This game is nicely set up, isn't it? I think for America, they're going to need to find a breakthrough in this over. They're going to need to find a third wicket for Nisarg Patel. He's the one who's proved all the threats. Beats the field. That's just current will cut it off. We'll pick up a single meanwhile. And his Nisarg has to be pinpoint with his length, especially, because we've seen a couple of good swivels towards the leg side when Nisarg's bowling. One of them resulted in a six, other one a single. This is good batting, just need the singles. Just work it around, no need to take any risks. Still six wickets in hand. If they need to take risk, they can do it in the final power play. After nine more deliveries, five fielders will be allowed outside the circle. You see the batsman pulling out with someone, one of the fans probably getting a little bit too close to the side screen. Umpire giving them a wave to get them under control. Fans really starting to stream in. I do I see the fans down here to your left? We'll bring those onto your screen in a moment. But it's been his strength and it's had slightly slower through the air this time. Just teasing the batsman. Wickets, 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 where are they? And just chasing them like treasure. That one's been delivered from about 24 yards. Well short of both the pop increase and indeed the umpire himself. So just changing things up. Just trying something here in Isarg Patel. Trying to tempt Bandari out. Flatter through the air this time. Hit aerially towards Kenjigate. And that will close out a very fine spell of left arm spin bowling from Nisarg Patel. He's going to finish with... 10 overs, 2 for 20, sorry, 2 for 33. And he's brought his side, kept his side really, in the game. Is that a good one? We just have any flow guard, right? Let's free product can use it. Do you have a good one? Do you have a good one? Marble! Suraksha Garko! Satsi Bandarko! Celebrating Kumari Bank Limited's 20 years of adding values. Captain will continue. We've seen that often now. The first ball's left to be as is. Saram Nitravalka trying to get it away from the right hander. He's also getting a little bit of shape, remember. Travalker's options. Ten overs remain after this one. No doubt he'll probably bowl out here in this little two over burst from the Al Amarada end. Just comes off the inside edge and through to the keeper Patel. Travalker's been so good at keeping it tight. Let's look at those bowling figures again. Halsey holds his hand on his head but where do you think he's going to turn? Who will else will be brought on Obviously, Patel's at the end of his spell now as well, so he'll have an enforced change at the pavilion end. Yeah, Abhishek has been a little expensive to be giving him the... Uh, always at the business end would be a little tough call to make for uh, Sorab. He'll go back to Karima Gore, Gore for one. Hutchinson definitely will be in action. That's, that's in the gap. That was in the air as well, but that's in the gap. Work to do. They'll cut it off. They'll pick up two in the process and two for the shot, none for the throw. Yeah, Walker was bowling really well. A little bit of 
change in length this time. The batsman did reach out for it. Yeah, Balkan knows it's a matter of a wicket here. We all know it's a matter of a partnership for a while. And there's Casey to, to get the assault if you give him the launch pad. He's going to come around the wicket now. Quite likes to do this halfway through and over. Just change things up, not let the batsman settle. Three dots here. Whilst it will help USA, I still don't think it's going to be enough. It'll leave 55 to win off the final 10. That should be a cakewalk for Nepal. It's a poly cricket, you always say should. Because they rise on at the cardiac kids for a reason. And they put their fans, their millions of fans, through all sorts of stresses watching them. So if you're a Nepali cricket fan and you have nails, you definitely haven't watched cricket. But they'll take one for the dive. He was searching for the ball after doing all the hard work. Karima. Excellent cricketer. There's always something to learn from. Yeah, brilliant from Karima Gore. Backward point, so nearly cutting off the single. The lovely camera angle of it from our one roving camera here ground across to his left, his stronger side, getting the dive in, probably made about seven yards, and he was just disappointed he couldn't cling on, because it might have stopped the single, could have affected a run out, that's what USA need, they need a moment of magic. Three of the over so far, one to go, Nitrovalka has kept it under control. Yeah, yeah. Stuff from Nitrovalka, three runs coming from the over. Continues to be interestingly poised. Ten overs remain. Fifty-four to win. Serious ma pani flow gadra. Late free product na use onsa. Tei vera gunastare pramnim ko parpar the naam. Marble. Suraksha kar ko. Sajji bandar ko. Kumari parivar suraksha bachat khata le khole ko cha. Sabai ko suraksha ko sancho. Kumari Bank Ma Khata, 26 Lakh Samma Ko Fayda. Thab Jan Kari Ko Lagi, Najikai Ko Kumari Bank Ko Saakha Ma Sampar Ka Garnu Hola. Suru Garu, Parivar Ko Suraksha Ko Samskar. We got five patrolling the boundary now. Yes, Saurabh Nitrabalkar will give the ball to Karima. Give me an over of magic here. If the ball's a gold dust from you. That's what Saurabh would be telling Karima. Just making those fine adjustments in the field. Ensuring that the angles are proper. Well, Nark also helping out. He's a keeper, remember? Massive appeal from his first delivery. I'm going to have to take a look at what happened here. Came a long way across the stumps. Probably suspect Paul might have got outside the line. Remember, there's no one behind. Let's take a look. Yeah, well outside the line. Might well have been going on to strike off stump, but can't be given out. Interesting now, two dot balls. One of them troubling the batsman, the other one, the batsman a little bit more in control. Karima, with the third. Can't take that single. Went searching for that single. And knew as time passed that it would have been very difficult for the other batsman to cover. Bhandari is no superman to be covering 22 yards in a second. This time had to operate. Will it still be a single? Yeah, so just a single out into the offside. Has to find a way. Has to find a way to not build up the pressure on his partner here. Both batsmen operating with a strike rate of around. In and around 50, a little bit more for Powell up towards 60. And they are finding a way, nice little paddle sweep, that's good creativity. Hitting the ball to where there's no field, there's plenty of time to get back for two. So USA do this a lot, with the left arm spinners, no one behind square on the offside, Nisark Patel, and now for Kareem Agour, no one behind square on the leg side. As soon as you make that point, that the place has been plugged. Got a backward square in position. Karima now will pull out of it, and he's absolutely within rights to do so. Karima probably 
wasn't in great rhythm while running it. Then he changed this time around though. Tap and run, tap and run. The question is how hard is he hit it? Will he come back for the second? No, they were fielders swarming in like bees. Yeah, really, really good work here from Sushap Madani. He's picked up the shape of the shot quickly and kept it to just a single. Four from that over. The pole need around five and a half per over. So maybe just that one going with America, but they're going to need wickets. Nine hours to go. Exactly 50 to win. We just have any flow gadra. Let free product I use on some. They wear a gunastery from Ningo Purple the name. Marble Suraksha Karko. Sadji one gadra. Tumari Pariwa Suraksha Batsat Khan. तुम्हारी बैंक में खाता 26 लाख समक। ऑफ कर दिस टाइम फ्रॉम नोट्रवाकर जस्ट रैपिंग हिस फिंगर्स ओवर द टॉप ऑफ द बॉल बट वेट इनटू द लेग साइड फॉर अ सिंगल जस्ट फील लाइक नेपाल कुड डू विद अ बाउंड्री और टू टू जस्ट इज़ द एवर ग्रोइंग प्रेशर दे डोंट वांट इट गेटिंग अब अबोव अ रनबॉल now that he's realizing Saurabh Nitravalkar with, with he's bringing out his array of deliveries not on the slow one what's this going to be once again a slow one he hit it twice almost she's kept on waiting waiting and then the ball arrived he threw with a shot almost in his mind. When will I offer the shot is what Rohit was thinking. He's played 66 deliveries before this and yet he got jinked. Yet he was in slight trouble negotiating with this one. Very good delivery. Petrovalker to answer here now is where is he going to turn? Who is he going to look towards for his final overs, the final eight overs. He'll be bowled out after this one. Hutchinson, come on in. We'll have the services of Gore as well. We would need a wicket from these two very, very early now. And the more they go deep into this game, the more, the deeper they get into trouble as well. We'll take it over here. This is what Netravalka has in mind. Put on strike. Quick single. Got it just wide enough for Stephen Taylor at mid-wicket to be able to get through for one. That's good batting. So three singles will close out the spell from Sarah Netravalker. Another good tight one right around his career economy rate. In fact, even a little bit under. Two maidens, one for 30. Effective and incredibly reliable as always. The American captain. Good spell of bowling. We just have only four gadra. Get free product and use on that. Hey, where are Gunasthari from? Hey, Bhagwan, why are you here? You are so stupid. Why are you here? 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 If you can get a couple of dot balls over here, then the equation might change. Hammered down the ground. But 
protection out there. That's Nisar Patel. He's definitely slower. Phases of the game. We will pick up that single in the end. It's one of those phases of the game where, where the single is bitter. It's bitter tasting for both the teams. One just trying to keep the score. Robot ticking. Mike say it's it's shifting towards the sweeter side of the spectrum, but definitely bitter for the USA. Let's get that in the gap once again. Lots of real estate to cover. Well, great to hear all your comments continuing to flood in on social media. And good comment here from Fraser Middleton watching on from Glasgow, Scotland. So tight, he reckons the two images, two innings are a mirror Im image of each other. He hits it onto the pads. I was trying to go leg side, trying to take on Hutchinson. Can we single to close out that over? Five singles from it, almost what Nepal need, but not quite. Seven remain. This one feels like it's going all the way. It's 190 for four. <laughs> Celebrating Kumari Bank Limited's 20 years of adding values. To one of six bowlers that still have overs left. Netravalker, ten overs, bowled out, same as Nisar Patel, one for thirty and two for thirty-three. But Hutchinson has enough overs left to get right the way through. Pull shot, no one in the deep on the leg side apart from square leg. It's gone wide of him. The short ball tactic from Hutchinson is a risky one and it's been dispatched to boundary from the first ball of the over and punished into the deep. Hutchinson provides the pace, the batsman provides the placement. As easy as it gets. The boundary of the first ball sets the over nicely for Nepal. Pressure, pressure here for USA. Just not too sure why fine leg continues to be out of the circle as well. Let's get it fuller, Hutchinson. It does an immediate call of wait, wait, wait. And straight to Kareem, of course, right hand. But every boundary, that's the first boundary, I think, in nine overs, just swinging things back towards Nepal. <laughs> Clipped into the sky, it'll just be a single out to the man in the deep. In the pedals, knock, he hasn't quite caught up in terms of scoring rate, but moves towards a 50, could be a match winning 50. I'm pretty sure. With the milestones not even in his mind. The only number in his mind at the moment is 2, 3, 1, and he's finding routes to reach there. This game very, very deep. Looking across to the Nepal bench, Karen Casey and Sampal Kami. He and Sampal Kami both padded up, likely to see KC at seven, you'd have to think. As the game's getting into the KC zone, it's quickly getting into the KC zone where you need 30 odd. He 
that's been the problem for both Bandari and Pedal. When they've looked to go big, they have just lost their shape a little bit. The exception of the six that Pedal got down the ground with a slog sweep. And Bandari losing his shape there again. He's trying to hit the ball too hard, it seems. Pedari not waiting for the delivery. It's a reach in. 17 of 30, but interestingly, he's also picked up singles, mean by. And Taylor felt he was in the game for a moment there. Will they be able to get back for two? Despite the fumble from Taylor, they won't. So six runs coming from that over. It's not getting any less tight. If anything, it's getting a bit tighter. 35 to an off six. Nepal 196 for four. Yes, my pani flow gadra. Let free product na use huncha. Tei vera gunastare plumbing ko purpose naam marble. Suraksha kar ko saath jivan bhar ko. D som ko recharge ma internet sitai ma. Yo yojana D som fiber net seva pugi ko sthan ma uplabdha cha. D som fiber net. Ji sure it's not a bottle of water there. It's it's a lot of discussion there. They wanted to come in now they weren't. Lots of messages waiting to be stored in the bottle of water. Just trying to get it across to the batsman in the middle. Bottle on strike. He's played very sensibly after losing partners. Going to have a change in bowling here, sorry. It's going to be Nosh Kenjige back into the attack. So Karim Gord taken out. I wonder will we see a change of ends for Gord? We're going to see left arm spin from both ends. Or will Hutchinson continue? Five hours, one for 25 so far for Kenji Gate. His third spell today. Every dot just swinging that pendulum towards the USA. It's exactly a run of ball. 35 to win. Off 35 now. Keeping the pressure on. Here is Kenji Gate. Big shot attempted, and not for the first time. Bandari's completely lost his shape. I think Powell wanted the single, but Bandari didn't even move. Wanted to go for a big heave on the leg side. The intention was definitely not wrong. Cow corner is open. There's Kenji again. It's better from Bandari, but we'll just be the single. I just wonder if the Pressure is going to tell here. Is one going to go up, up in the air out to one of these five fielders in the deep? It would be interesting to watch how Rohit approaches this over. He's already seen a couple of dot balls now been put on the business end. We'll nerdle it away. Yeah, flutter through the air from Kenjige that time. USA, you just feel still need wickets. Surely if these two are here at the end, Nepal will have got over the line. Absolutely, with two more established batsmen to come as well. Brilliant from Stephen Taylor, backward point. You won't see it on your camera, but as soon as the shape of the shot was a block, he sprinted straight towards the batsman, anticipated the attempted drop and run, and he cuts off what probably would have been a certain single. So it will just be the three overs, three runs from that the 45th over the game. More than a run a ball needed for the first time in the entire match. It's 32 to win off 30. We just have any flow gadra. Let free product I use on that. They wear a gunaster from Ningo Parpa the name. Marble Suraksha Karko. Satsi one gadra. Kumari Pariwa Suraksha Batsat Katali Kole Kutsa. Sabaiko Suraksha Ko Satsu. कुमारी बैंक में खाता 26 लाख सम्मा को फायदा थब जानकारी को लागी नजिके को कुमारी बैंक को साखा मा संपर्क गरनु होला सुरू गरू परिवार को सुरक्षा को समस्कार Patel's ball brilliantly today and the debutant Sanjay Krishnamurti in his four overs he rolled the arm over and did really well Stephen Taylor did get a couple in there too yeah, Just as I thought that might happen. Karim Agor has changed ends, so it is going to be a trouble by spin. I think Netravalkar are not going to be wanting to risk additional pace on the ball. Paradkar obviously very expensive so far today. Hutchinson's been 
just clipped away for a few boundaries and USA cannot afford boundaries right now this game really feels like it's going all the way to the final over but Bandari and Pedal need to take a chance they're going to take a chance a big heave across the line no contact made and Shenhun Wolf there and yeah, as you were mentioning slow through the air completely missed it yes, heave this one down the ground it's going to go all the way for six yes. that's what they needed yes. it was flat batted by Bandari the tension was building the nerves were building from the fans but they're on their feet they're clapping the 200 is up Nepal now inch closer that's in the slot clearing his front leg allowing him to heave to go ahead and do so rest is history it went straight down the ground and he had no problems or doubts that he'll clear the boundary or not Nepal reached 200 and do so in style 205 on the board now this game's beautifully set up and Dari was looking for form looking for form one connects and connects at the right time we had to look for the big shot six wickets in hand and these two batters have struggled to get their scoring rates up but just when they've needed to every time they've needed to they've found a boundary they've always kept that required run rate within check it hasn't been incredibly pretty from either of them probably hasn't been Pedal's finest knock but it could prove to be mighty effective just one or two more big hits like that and Nepal will be home what the chat is between these two there they've got the six in the over now the umpires are checking the ball that went into the construction site might have got a bit of iron beating what do you suggest yeah I think the, the protocols these days always require for the ball to be checked if it goes outside the plane arena and naturally this one might have hit into a bit of the concrete or part of the construction that's been going on so they're going to get a replacement ball. Don't think that will affect either of the sides too much. How are those nerves out there in Nepal or Nebraska, wherever you're watching on from? Do tell us, send me a message there at Cricket Badge. Tell me how you're feeling. And tension continuing to build. It feels like every time Nepal get a boundary, there's a dot ball that follows it. But they're getting big boundaries at the moment. When the equation is run a ball, they wouldn't mind that dot ball if it's a, if after a boundary. But that's into the deep protection out there, but it's going to go wide of Sanjay Krishnamurthy. Two boundaries in the over. Is this the over that ends the chase? They don't want to take it all the way to the 49th or the 50th. It's gone with a six with a flat bat. Now it's the slog sweep for four. Once again in the slot, he'd been attempting that shot twice. Now this one connects too. Yes, there was a mid in place, but he knew he's got the elevation and Krishnamurti had too much to do in the end. Well, really good batting and he's going to look to come back for two. Madani quick between the wickets and a good flat throw will restrict it to just a single, but is that the air taken out of America's tyres? Just so little to work with, just a run a ball, six wickets in hand. The Paul look very much like they're going to get home and over the line now. Three dots in that over, but the reason Gore looks disgusted and bites his shirt. United States 231 is what Nepal required and at the moment 210 for four with four overs to go and six wickets in hand. Nathan Walker will be telling his boys it's about not one but two 
but get that one wicket to try and try and bring some trouble into the Nepal side. No, they want that single tap and run. It's about how hard you've hit it as well. And as a batsman, you're the best judge to know if you're going to cover the 22 yards and your friend at the other end is going to do so as well. Yeah, messages flooding in again. One here been up in Denver, Colorado since 4.30 a.m. for me and Macklin. See, put it, you, see the U.S. put on a decent show, but I think it's going to be a show in vain because that one is going to soar very near to our country position. Thuds into the construction. It's sent a cat running as well. It's almost all over. The pole are on the brink now. Need more. This is probably the pick of the innings. Powell goes to 50. A fantastic knock where he's at three sixes and one four. It's the third 50 of his career, and he's bringing the pole home. Absolutely, he's playing the innings, one of the best innings of his life. There's nothing but better than not only reaching a milestone, but trying to stay there till the end, get the job done. You said a cat actually went by. I meant it metaphorically when I said, said the cat amongst the pigeons. But that six, that six almost sealed the deal. Kenji again is poor magic. I think the difference between the sides is probably going to end up being the boundary hitting options, the, the sixes that the Paul have been willing to take the risks to try and hit. Beautifully bowled by Kenjige, beats the outside edge. Just three sixes in the American innings and already eight sixes in this Nepal innings, so the additional dots that they've soaked up hasn't actually cost them. Yes, they're making it up with bigger denominations at the end. Constructing the innings, laying the base with singles and twos and trying to push for three at times, then going for the big shots. Yeah. Slow through the air, mix up. Direct hit might have been close, but Taylor can't quite find the stumps just into the gloves of Patel. He whips the bales off. You can feel America, they've gone very flat all of a sudden. They know. Yeah. Wanted to peel for a single, but wasn't there to be. Very quick to dispatch the ball as well. Excellent work. Kenjiki has seen a six hit of him. He's seen a couple of singles in this over as well. Smashed into the offside. It's going to go wide of the man at long off. He's going to chase in vain. That's Jasker and Malhotra. Been a Bandari this time, getting into the act. And these two, they've advanced Nepal to within touching distance. 222 for four. Celebrating Kumari Bank Limited's 20 years of adding values. The USA have called a cabinet meeting. Three overs remain and just nine to win now, so Nepal right on the brink. Where would they be on this tour without the batting of the 19-year-old? David Powell, 41 and 86 against Papua New Guinea, and he's followed up here today with what's going to be a match-winning knock, 55 not out he has, and he's showing maturity well beyond his years. Absolutely brilliant knock. But can he stay there till the end? That's that's another question. He's already earned great points in that dugout for playing this magnificent innings. Can he stay there till the end? Here's Bratka. Oh, this is this is good thinking from Saurabh Netrawalkar. He's preparing a talent for the future. He's given it to Bratka. Asking him, come on, deal is out of the situation, you're playing for the country. What a beautiful moment this is. So games, he's gone for 21 in 2.1. That's a very good delivery, not giving him the width to operate with. And good support in the field too. It is Palatka. That's in the slot. 
And thank you very much, says Bodel. A stone's throw away from victory here, in Nepal. And Paratkar's wars continues. Not the well, second one, I beg your pardon. This is the second game. Yeah, hit powerfully into the leg side by Powdell. I think you'll probably admit it hasn't been his most fluent knock. He's struggled in several points, but just when he's needed to get himself out of trouble, he has found enough boundaries. Nepal within a hit now. What he's also done is lead the pace. Sport Hill took his time, believed that he can stay there till the end, and that's exactly what he's doing. He had a bit of a hiccup with Bandari's form not being there. But then Bandari started with his flow, just made things easier for Nepal and Podel to anchor the innings from there on. When Purtel left, Kings were in shambles. They had to pick themselves up, and they did. This is an excellent innings and a coming of age innings from Podel. Just waited, waited, went to offer the shot, he thought. And by the time he did realize he needs to, the ball had left him. Yeah, it's a little too late here for USA. Probably just, I felt about 20 runs short of where they needed to be. And the Paul's chasing, historically has struggled to chase high totals, but it's a new, very different side, this under Dav Watmore. And it looks very much, to me, like they're going to close out his final series as coach with a perfect start. A win should get over the line with six wickets to spare. The boundary away from victory here in Nepal. And Paratka realizing even with a single there again slipping away. But can he pick up a wicket? It's once again the question because when you do that, you sort of create some disruption. At the moment, Bandari is in control. 36 or 45. He's also covered up really, really well. Yeah, Bandari's been something of a figure for criticism on some of the Nepali fan forums. You just have any flow gadra. Let free product can use on that. They were a gunastari from Ningo Parpa the name. Marble! Suraksha Karko. Satsi Bandarko. कुमारी परिवार सुरक्षा बचत खाता ले खोले को छा सबई को सुरक्षा को सांचो कुमारी बैंक मा खाता 26 लाख सम्म को फाइदा थब जानकारी को लागी नजिके को कुमारी बैंक को साखा मा संपर्क गरनो होला सुरू गरू परिवार को सुरक्षा को समस्कार asking him to defend two here. He's asking him to pick up the wicket. Three required the games in the back for Nepal. Yeah, I just think Nepal need to end it this over. I don't want to do anything silly. Play out a wicket maiden or something stupid and take it down to the final over. Why take the risk? End it now. End it with one hit. Attempted reverse sweep and that is going to be a wicket. We just talked about a wicket maiden being possible. And then a Bandari's final knock is going to end with 10 deliveries left after this one. Probably just a fine edge. A good catch held by Manang. The reverse sweep attempted. Let's take a look. Yeah, just coming off that top edge. A good catch. But probably too little, too late for USA. Kinjiki does get the breakthrough. We'll bring a new man in. The poor Hill the Bhadra has said. He's just looked at the dugout. And giving them a sign of reassurance. I'm still there. You yeah, must did converse to celebrate that wicket, but as they disperse, they are playing this whole game in the mind. The way it's played out and where they faltered. Karu will walk up. But three required. And we'll take strike as well, number 33. What's the feel going to be for the new man? Three required. Would they put some pressure? USA. Right, they've 
but I mean man at catching position at mid wicket. Apart from that, lots of real estate on the leg side. If you can just nerd a little bit, Shubhamba. Three required. Kenji game. I'm just not too sure about this here from Nepal. Don't want to take this to the final over. Just said they don't want a wicket maiden, and we've a dot wicket dot. Just raising the pulses again back in Nepal. Karen Casey looks for a quick single, and Netra Valker, probably the wrong man to have in that position at that critical point. Single taken. Rohit Podel. 60 of 85, still ran as if it's his first run. Absolutely fresh legs. Two required. Oh, dragging this out very, very deep here. Just going a little bit deeper than they should. They should not be going to the final over. Good stuff from Kenjige, putting the pressure on. Oh, get out of this over with a dot. All of those fans in Nepal will be counting down at the moment. They would be having two fingers up in their hand. And now this could be the winning up. moment. It's going to be work behind square on the offside. Will they come back for the second? They'll take Stephen Taylor on. And that is going to be that. A punch of the air from Rowan Powell. He has guided his side home with his third ODI 50. 62 he's going to finish with from 87. It's been a very fine knock, not his finest or most fluent. He struggled through it, but he showed maturity well beyond his years. Just 19 years of age, the youngster. He's guided Nepal home in what was a tricky chase. And they've got over the line with exactly an over to spare by five wickets. 2.31 conquered at the end. Courtesy Podil's brilliance. And a very good start from Asif and Portel. Don't forget the 84, he set the chase up, but then couldn't continue. They needed someone, Nepal needed someone to put their hand up, and it was a 19-year-old youngster who said, I've been in the side for a while. I understand the situation. I can take control. He stayed there till the end and played a magnificent knock to take his team through. 231 for five.